Hey guys! So as most of you will have noticed, modern Hollywood is not what it once was. Much of the stuff the big studios are producing nowadays are either reboots of movies or remakes of movies that are a bit older. That's probably one of the laziest ways of making content for them, because it's the easiest one. The groundwork for what they're trying to do already exists, now they just have to do it again, but a bit differently. It's easier to remake or reboot something than having to come up with something new that wasn't done before. And people are rewarding them for it, so of course they continue doing it. It's relatively easy money. Those projects are often even the most successful ones nowadays. Outcrossing the original and making hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars at the box office. And they're pretty safe bets for studios. It was a smaller risk for Sony to make the Amazing Spider-Man reboot for example, than having to come up with something new where they don't know if audiences will even like it. But with Spider-Man they already had the original Spidey trilogy that was a huge hit and at its time they even were the most successful superhero movies ever, and it's not even close. So you can't really blame Sony for rebooting them. And not just once, but now already twice with the current MCU Spidey franchise being already the second reboot, despite the Amazing Spider-Man franchise and even the original Spidey trilogy releasing not even that long ago. And Tom Holland's Spidey movies will most likely also not be the last version, because the character of Spider-Man is way too iconic already and his movies are a pretty safe way for them to make some big cash. That's the reason they're now even expanding the whole thing with Sony creating a cinematic universe focused solely on Spidey's villains, because their current contract with Disney keeps them from using a live action version of him in their movies as long as he's in the MCU. It's kinda complicated, but the point is, they're now even profiting with the Spider-Man universe without Spider-Man. But that's a whole nother story. The point is, reboots and remakes are a great and pretty safe bet for studios to make tons of money. And in general, that isn't even a problem. The idea of remaking something for new generations because the previous version is getting too old and is being forgotten is in itself not a bad idea. Or rebooting something because the first attempt had a flawed execution and wasn't well received or something. Most people are fine with that. The moment it becomes a problem though, is when studios overdo it, when they make changes that shouldn't have been made, or when they make unnecessary reboots and remakes that no one asked for because the original is still perfectly fine. The two biggest studios in Hollywood are Disney and Warner Bros. And they're also the ones most guilty of using that reboot remake strategy in recent times. And now they're absolutely going crazy. Warner Bros. recently announced that they are working on basically a remake of the Harry Potter movies. But this time adapting the seven books into a show, where each season will cover one book, so essentially they're planning on making seven seasons. That's not the Harry Potter show people hoped for. There was huge demand for a show about the Marauders. A show about the friendship of James Potter, Sirius Black, Remus Lupin and Peter Pettigrew. It would have been able to explore not just their backstories, but also the background of Severus Snape for example, a fan favorite character. But that was probably too risky for Warner Bros. Just as it probably was too risky for them to make a show about the Hogwarts founders. Seeing their stories and relationships, eventually founding Hogwarts and creating the four houses would have also been cool to see. But instead of expanding the Potter universe, Warner Bros. decided to instead retell the story we've already read and that has already been pretty accurately adapted into one of the greatest and most successful movie franchises of all time. Those movies are already a fantastic adaptation of the books and they are greatest movies. If you truly believe that they should go ahead with the remake because some mostly unimportant stuff didn't make it into the movies, then you haven't been paying attention to what's been happening in Hollywood in recent years. In this current era of wokeness, they couldn't care less about giving fans accurate adaptations or good content. They only care about pushing their political agendas into those projects creating something that they like, but most fans don't. And as soon as fans start criticizing those inaccurate adaptations, they start blaming the fans for the failure of those projects. That's the era we're living in right now. And who would be a better example for wokeness and stupid remakes than Disney? Disney announced that they're working on a live-action Moana remake, or however that's pronounced. Moana came out in 2016, so it's barely even 7 years old. And they're already so out of ideas that they already want to remake it. 
it seems unnecessary and completely based on a lack of creativity and them being unable to create something new and original again. Which, back in the days, maybe a decade ago, they did all the time. But something changed in recent years at Disney. Their movies lack the brilliance and creativity they once had. And as a result, they're not getting anywhere with them other than losing hundreds of millions of dollars with movies like Strange World. So when they can't come up with something new, they just reuse stuff they did in the past. And most of their stuff nowadays that's not Marvel or Star Wars seems to be live action remakes. And apart from Marvel and Star Wars, those are their only films that make a profit. And it's not because those movies are good, hell no, far from it. But it's because those movies tingle the nostalgia in people. And nostalgia is one hell of a way to make money for those studios. And Disney's a prime example of using that currently. It's the reason all those old school characters suddenly appear again in all of their shows and movies. The most successful movie of 2021, Spider-Man No Way Home, was basically completely built on nostalgia people had for the old characters. And that's the reason that pushed it to making around 2 billion dollars. That's not making it a bad movie. It was the only good thing Phase 4 of the MCU had to offer. But nostalgia drives hype. And they're using it seemingly everywhere now. Mandalorian Season 2 was not a good season, but they included plenty of old popular characters, so fans wouldn't complain about the quality. Season 1 seemed like a far more grounded and personal story. All those characters suddenly appearing in Season 2 made it appear ridiculous and forced. Like as if Disney got their money hungry hands into the production after they saw the success Season 1 had. Back not even a decade ago, it was so rare to see the return of an old character or a crossover. It felt special when it happened. But now I could go on and on with countless examples that all happened within the last few years, even when just focusing on Disney. And their remakes used the same tactic of using nostalgia for profit. And people criticize their remakes a lot and call them out for their unoriginality, especially recently. But that backlash mainly is the result of their low level of quality, because let's be real, they usually suck and end up way below the original classic. Of course not all of their remakes are bad, but those are usually rare exceptions to the rule and can be counted on a single hand. 2014's Maleficent, 2015's Cinderella and 2016's Jungle Book come to mind. And those released arguably right before Disney's drastic decrease in quality and them hopping full steam ahead onto that trend of wokeness that has infected Hollywood and resulted in countless of ruined franchises within the last couple of years. Disney completely relying on remakes won't work forever, especially if they keep screwing up their movies. And race swapping a Danish red hat mermaid to please a bunch of privileged social media activists will cost them most of their audience and most likely gonna end up losing Disney tons of money as it's usually the case with movies that push a political agenda. And don't even get me started on race swap Tinkerbell. But Disney clearly lost the ability to make smart decisions. If you thought Warner Bros is being silly by announcing a remake of Harry Potter after the franchise ended just 12 years ago, Disney manages to top that and announce a Moana remake after only 7 years. If they end up failing, then so be it.